Hi guys, I'd just like to announce the uh, new FCD unit that I've been building uh, alongside the Mark III for customers. This is the Mark IV on site, I call it. FCD on site, Mark IV. And as you can see, it's slightly different. So I've got the wooden case, but I've got a new fascia with a bigger speaker there. Uh, I'm just going to show you around it. There's now added a carrying handle there on the unit. Um, you can see that it's got actually controls or labels up there with reverb and volume. On this side, we've got the FCD fifth element crystal there still, which is attached to the side there. Um, and we've got an easy, I'll try and come close to the actual um, camera here. Get, get right here, this is it. You'll see we've got, um, when that focuses in, uh, it's all the wrong way around there, sorry about that. But we've got a new panel there which makes it easier to control the sweep and everything. I'll show you in a second how that works. Um, got a headphone socket out there as well on the front panel. Bigger speaker, metallic guard over the speaker so that if it gets bashed about, it's not going to get any sort of damage to it. Uh, a more solid case, um, it's wood panelled around a solid case there you can see with a, a black back there. Here we have a, a 9 volt battery case which is used to operate the amplifying reverb in the unit. Um, the rest of it all works from 5 volts which I'll show you at the top there. As you can see on the, on the top of here we've got a USB input so you can put all your app files on the USB and play them through the unit through that. We've got a TF card slot there as well, do the same thing. You've got a charging slot there for a mini USB, so you can use your mobile phone charger to actually charge up the unit. Um, it takes about two hours to charge and will last up to four or five hours at a go. Uh, we've got a auxiliary in there, so you can add anything to it basically, computer, um, anything really that's got an auxiliary lead to it and then you've got a simple on and off switch there uh, on the top as well so <coughs> i say i wanted to try and build from the mark 3 which looked lovely and everything but i wanted a more robust robust unit and to the suite to actually work better so i've got a different um radio set up inside it um which seems to work a lot better so i will be um putting this on the market soon uh, there are already people that uh, have asked me if they can have a unit so um, I'll be working on those I'm just going to show you quickly how it works um, it's quite easy first thing you do is turn on the unit here at the back this is the 9 volt battery pack and you just push it down to turn on come to the front here click on the on off button here and you'll see it all illuminates which is great at night time if you're out doing any uh, UFO or ghost hunting or anything illuminates the actual <coughs> excuse me speaker area um, and then it's a simple fact of you that temporarily puts it on standby so it's ready to go but to switch it on properly you press the first button here and you'll hear that audible noise you've got volume control here at the top and you've also got reverb here as well to give it a bit of echo okay some people like that echo effect on it so what you do is you press that first button again to get to the radio so often you can hear that now you can hear that, you can hear that, you can hear that okay and then to go to the screen we just press the third button along and it will go into sweep mode now start speaking through the channels You'll hear it. Uh, the reception here is fantastic, but we will get a few channels coming through. And we've got the white noise there as well that helps as well. Let's listen to this, and that's good. Is anybody there? Does anybody want to come through? Got a voice come through there. Anybody want to um, add anything to the box? Yes, thank you. Well, any messages for anyone out there? Thank you. Come, 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 come.